Wrinkles don't start in your mirror, they start in your kitchen. Today I'll show you the five food categories that work like internal skincare, feeding your skin, hair and nails from the inside out. These foods are rich in what I call happy nutrients. Nutrients that don't just nourish you, they literally talk to your DNA, switching on your body's repairs genes and switching off aging ones. And as usual, I'll give you the epigenetic spin on everything. So you'll see exactly how food becomes information that programs your skin at the genetic level. I am Dr. Lucia Aronica, lecturer in epigenetics and nutrigenomics at Stanford University. Look, I get it. You have probably spent hundreds, maybe thousands on creams and serums that promise to erase wrinkles from the outside. But here's the truth. Most of them are just expensive moisturizers that never reach the cellular level where real change happens. Meanwhile, your skin is literally rebuilding itself every 28 days using the raw materials you give it through food, which means your plate, not your bathroom shelf, is the real starting point. So let's dive into the five food categories that can rebuild your skin from the inside out. Category number one protein, your skin's building blocks. Here's something most people don't realize. Your skin, hair and nails are basically protein structures. Keratin in your hair and nails, protein. Collagen that keeps your skin firm, protein. Elastin that prevents wrinkles, also protein. But here's the catch. Most people think they are eating enough protein when really, they're not getting the right quality. You could be hitting your protein numbers, but if you're missing essential amino acids in the right ratios, your skin literally can't rebuild itself properly. That's why you want 30 to 40 grams of complete protein at every meal. Complete means all nine amino acids in the right ratios. Think animal protein like wild cut fish, grass fed meat, or pasture raised eggs. These don't just rebuild collagen, they also bring zinc, which your body needs for collagen production. Fish and shellfish are especially powerful. They are loaded with taurine, an amino acid that boosts hyaluronic acid production. That's your skin natural moisturizer built from the inside. And if you're plant-based, you can do this too. Just more strategically, pair legumes with grains, focus on complete protein like soy and quinoa, or use an 80-20 pea rice protein blend. The key is simple. Get those amino acids working together or your skin pays the price. Category number two, collagen, your skin's scaffolding. Collagen makes up about 70 to 80% of your skin. It's literally the framework that keeps everything firm and plump. But here's the kicker. After age 25, you lose about 1% every year. After menopause, that doubles. Now, you have probably seen collagen powders everywhere. And yes, studies show they can improve skin appearance. But here's the truth. We don't really know how they work yet and therefore whether they'll actually work for you. Let me explain. One theory is that collagen powders mostly help people who aren't eating enough protein in the first place. But if you're already getting plenty of complete protein, like myself, the benefit may be minimal. Case in point, I tried 20 grams of collagen a day for six months 
and notice nothing. Maybe because I already eat plenty of high quality protein. Now, that's just an hypothesis. We need head-to-head -head studies comparing whey and collagen for skin to know for sure. But here's an interesting clue. One study in overweight women did compare whey and collagen, not for skin, but for weight loss and body composition to things that directly impact skin. The winner was whey, not collagen. So until more research comes in, I skip the powders and focus on collagen-rich foods. Fish and chicken with the skin on, anchovies with bones, bone broth, one cup gives you about 10 grams of collagen. That way you are not just getting collagen, you are getting all the supporting nutrients nature packaged with it. Category number three, rainbow happy nutrients, your skin's genetic defense. Your skin isn't just about building blocks like protein and collagen. It's also constantly under attack from UV rays, pollution and oxidative stress. Think of it like a house. You need strong bricks and a great security system. Here's where colorful foods come in. Most people toss some random berries in a booty and call it a day. But if you want to really protect your skin, you need to eat strategically by color. And here's the epigenetic spin. These pigments aren't just antioxidants. They are epi nutrients. They literally talk to your DNA, switching on protective genes and switching off aging pathways. Different colors activate different genetic programs. Red foods like tomatoes and red bell peppers give you lycopene. It literally works like internal sunscreen. Orange foods like carrots, pumpkin and sweet potatoes provide carotenoids, which your body turns into vitamin A for healthy skin turnover. But caution here, never rely on supplements. Vitamin A is fat soluble and can build up dangerously. Get it from food, orange veggies, liver, cod liver oil and eggs. Dark greens like spinach give you folate for DNA repair, while cruciferous veggies like broccoli pack sulforaphane, an epinutrient that flips on antioxidant genes and dials down inflammation. Blue and purple foods like blueberries and blackberries deliver anthocyanins. These turn on genes that protect against oxidative stress and inflammation. White foods like garlic contain allicin, which suppresses collagen damaging enzymes. But here's the catch. Cook it wrong and you lose almost everything. I actually made a video on boosting garlic's allicin by 4,200%. I link it below. And don't forget vitamin C rich foods across all colors like citrus, kiwi and berries. Vitamin C is essential for collagen production and shields your skin from free radicals. The key here isn't picking your favorite color, it's combining them. Eating the rainbow daily keeps your skin's repair genes switched on from all angles. Category number four, omega-3s, your skin anti-inflammatory shield. If there's one thing that ages your skin faster than time itself, it's inflammation. Chronic, low-grade inflammation breaks down collagen, slows hyaluronic acid production, and basically makes your skin age itself from the inside out. Omega-3 fatty acids 
work as your skin's fire department. They don't just put out inflammation, they stop the fire from starting in the first place. But here's where most people get it wrong. They think that sprinkling chia seeds on their yogurt or taking flax oil is enough. But those plant sources give you ALA, which your body has to convert into the active omega trees your skin actually needs. EPA and DHA, and that conversion pathetically inefficient, just 1 to 5%. For men, it's even worse. Do the math. You'd need to eat dozens of tablespoons of flax or chia and thousands of calories to hit therapeutic levels of EPA and DHA, about 1 to 2 grams a day. That's not a strategy. That's nutritional fantasy. The real game changers are marine omega trees, EPA and DHA from fatty fish like salmon, sardines, mackerel or anchovies. They integrate directly into your skin cell membranes where they lower inflammatory signaling, stabilize cell walls and keep them fluid and healthy. And if you're vegan, no problem. Get an algal oil supplement. That's actually where fish get their omega 3s to begin with. But please stop relying solely on flax and chia, thinking they'll save your skin. They won't. Category number five fermented foods, your gut skin connection. Most people think of skin health as something that happens on the surface. But your skin is actually connected to your gut through what scientists call the gut-skin axis, a biological superhighway linking your microbes to every pore, strand of hair and nail. Here's the deal. Your gut microbes aren't just digesting food, they are master chemists. They produce powerful compounds that either inflame your skin or heal it from the inside out. That's why fermented foods like sauerkraut, kimchi, kefir and yogurt are such skin superstars. They deliver the whole package. The chemist themselves, probiotics, their fuel, prebiotics from fiber, and their finished products, postbiotics like Beauty Rate. And those postbiotics? They're not just waste, they act like epinutrients, traveling to your bloodstream and switching your genes on and off, dialing down inflammation and dialing up repair programs in your skin. It's like giving your skin a 3-in-1 supplement that your gut bacteria made just for you. And, of course, don't forget hydration. Water supports every cellular process in your body, including hyaluronic acid production, the molecule that keeps your skin plump. Now you know the foods that can rebuild your skin from the inside out, but knowing is one thing and applying is another. To help you put these into action, I've created a free guide, 5 Kitchen Hacks to Unlock Your Food's Epigenetic Superpowers. You'll find the link in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, you're going to love this one right here. Ciao!